This is Eyewitness News with Bill Butel and John Johnson, plus Eli Zarrett, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel. Today belonged to the New York Mets. It was the biggest parade in the history of a city that loves parades. 2.2 million people, the police say 2.2 million people, turned out on Lower Broadway to give the Mets their ticker tape parade. People in windows, on cars, packed like sardines on the street, to pay homage and honor to the new world champs of baseball and to have some fun themselves. Here are the sights and sounds of celebration. The New York Mets won last night, New York City won today. Right, John? They sure did. <laughs> incredible the way he kept coming back and doing those things that nobody thought you could do. Well, we've done it all year. So we had our backs to the wall in the LCS. We had our backs major to the wall here. We had to win four out of five yeah. against Boston, and that's uh, take two out of three there, and that's not an easy thing to do. We did it all year. This is the greatest. This is the greatest team I ever played for, and I gotta believe it's the greatest Met team of all time. behind real early against Bruce Harris, who has really ruled us this whole time. I was thinking to myself, God, we're in trouble. But these guys have battled back. doesn't matter who the pitcher is out there. And they did it again tonight. And uh, God, 24-guy effort all year long. We did it again tonight. It's an amazing club. We're down in Houston, 3-0. Then we're down, you know, in the sixth game. And we're, right, I don't know. You know maybe, it's just, maybe it's just our year, and there's just nothing else is going to get in the way. We just never, never gave up. Uh, we were down three to nothing in this final seven game, in the seventh game, and we came back again. So uh, uh, this ball club just uh, kept going all season long, and uh, I'm just so proud to be a part of it. Right after the Mets got the final out last night, the fans started their celebration. People poured into the streets, screaming, dancing, singing, doing everything. It was as if all this had been building up through the playoffs in Houston, then building more during the World Series. And after the Mets came from behind to finally win the series, fans had to release their pent-up emotions. 